You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. The Comcast Network proudly presents the CN100 Playoff Game of the Week. This afternoon, we're on the south side of Chicago for a 7A first round playoff battle as the 16th seed caravan of Mount Carmel take on the 17th seeded Glenbard North Panthers. And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody, as we welcome you inside Gately Stadium alongside former Northwestern running back Don Johnson. I'm Mark Kruger, glad to have you with us. Obviously, the weather going to be a factor here this afternoon. And uh, by the way, happy Halloween from all of us here at CN100. And uh, Don, these two teams, different roads taken to get to the postseason. Glumbard North riding a seven game winning streak, playing awful well. Mount Carmel did not look very good last week in their loss up in Wilmette against Loyola Academy. Yeah, well, they suffered the humility bill against Loyola, lost 49 to 21. But Loyola is one of the top teams in the state, and they're playing at the top of their game. So that was just like a tune-up for the playoffs. Let's touch a little bit about these Panthers of Glumbard North. They missed the playoffs last year. It was the first time in 11 straight years that they missed the playoffs. But they're back in it this year. And, and if you talk to Ryan Wilkins, he'll tell you, hey, we run the ball well, and we play great team defense, and that's about it. Try to beat us. Well, they're a defensive team that gives their offense the ball a lot. Great secondary play, 17 interceptions on the year. And really, they mirror their opponent today. You're looking at two of similar teams. That's exactly right. Mount Carmel, similar philosophy. They run that split veer option. Uh, and, and, and if you talk to those guys, they're, they're going to say, hey, you know it's coming. But the one thing with Mount Carmel this year, Don, is they have turned the ball over at an alarming rate. Well, ball security today on a wet track is going to be the number one thing. You got to hold on to the ball and you got to get yourself in position to score early because you don't want to get it behind on a wet track day today. Anthony Thompson faces a third down at four. It's A.J. Lewis straight up the middle. He's going to be gone if he can beat the defender. It's Greg Newsom trying to come him from behind and he does. Wow, Greg Newsom tackling Lewis at about the 22. Oh, well, A.J. Lewis was one of our featured players. We wondered if he'd step up to the challenge. Here's your answer. Yeah. He hits the gap. 23 is out there. Now watch him. He gets run down by number 15. Man, what an outstanding defensive play by Greg Newsom. It's only a sophomore, man. He prevented a touchdown. Tenth play of the drive coming up for Shane Conway and the Panthers, all rushing. Hodges again the call, and Hodges dives into the end zone, touchdown. Six yard touchdown run by Debian Hodges. His 10th rushing touchdown of the season. Maybe they got inspired by Justin Jackson. Hodges hits it up in there. They've been going in behind Vasquez the whole drive. Yeah, that was a nice kick out block, wasn't it? Yeah, he's getting the job done. 67, yeah. you can see they just blow it out there, and he puts the shoulder pad level down low and breaks the plane. Fourth and five. Thompson is going to throw and incomplete. Greg Newsom, who has five picks on the year, made a tremendous defensive play to bat it away. Yeah, well, Newsom was eyeballing Wartell. He knew where he was and watched him close the gate. Wartell trying to get into the flat. He closes the gate with his right hand. A great defensive play. They have a lot of confidence in this secondary as we talked about. 17 interceptions total going into this game. Alec Thomas with the reception. Alec Thomas looking to the corner. Thomas getting by the defender. He's in. 44 yards from Anthony Thompson to Alec Thomas, the sophomore. There's Thomas. This is actually probably looks like a lateral. He throws it at the 41 and a half. Yeah, he catches it at the 42. Yep. Uh, he's a left-hander. Pretty so close. He's looking yeah. right at him, so it's a good throw. Not that it matters and much. He, yeah, not when he gets to the edge like that. It outruns the pursuit. Alec Thomas. 15th catch of the season for the sophomore, who last year as a freshman led the baseball team in home runs. Could you imagine that? He's managed this game very, very well. Handing it off to Kennedy. Breaks a couple of tackles. He's gone. Forget about it. Mike Kennedy is going to go 47 yards, his second touchdown of the afternoon. Kennedy has that ability to hit the seam. He's got long legs, but when he gets those legs going, he knows where to go. North and south, and this is a spread here. And he just gets on his horse, gets into the end zone. 
that he did that last, he did that in 10 seconds. <laughs> To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.